Welcome back to another video, guys. We got the survey link in the description of the video. Three leaves, 300,000 gold. So we have a lot of new stuff. We got a brand new hero, three exclusive equipments. And I'm really hyped about, you know, these exclusive equipments. And of course, this new hero looks quite interesting. I'll be talking about him. And of course, I'll showcase the hero tomorrow. 15 skill ups. You guys know the drill. So chapter two of episode four, Shadow Mountain. And uh, this hero looks... Uh, very interesting actually uh his skill three his skill one you know 50 percent crit chance uh for himself and he already has 27 or 28 percent crit chance from his base stats so that's really cool right there and uh his artifact actually works well with uh, his kit so uh that's solid okay the first thing here ilanav we got crit chance very good and uh, we actually have skill cooldown reduced by one turn of skill number two with the soul barn it's actually two turn minus two turn already it's uh yeah it's four turn cooldown three turn with the ee pretty solid barrier uh, when using skill three and combat shooting 50 percent when using the skill number three so i'll be trying them out and uh i think this hero is gonna be a much stronger now finally so uh much needed buff right there alencia too uh Finally, an exclusive equipment. Uh, she hasn't been in the meta, Alencia, uh, you know, Alencia, Elenav. So that's really cool. A crit chance uh, on the EE. So that's really good. And uh, well, I mean, it's good. You got more damage. You got effectiveness. I think it's after using the skill number three. But what I really like is the skill number two getting 20% chance of triggering. You know, it's 50% after skill up. So 70% really good. Uh, free spirit area. She's getting attack. Uh, she's getting... A cooldown reduction on energy wave, uh, dispel one buff on skill number two AOE attack, and immunity for the whole team uh, beside herself with the skill number two. The cool thing is that the skill number three actually gives her immunity, so basically use skill three and then into, into the skill number two, and she's gonna have it, the team's gonna have it, so that's really good. Uh, you know, she's a free hero, a lot of players uh, can use her, new players, and uh, you know, more damage is gonna be good. Uh, you know, new utilities, the immunity for the whole team, really strong. Uh, so World Arena, the season uh, begins. So good luck to everyone climbing. And uh, man, th there is quite a bit of stuff to talk about about this new hero. Guild name uh, will be displayed in Arena and World Arena. So uh, finally, we'll see that. Uh, but it won't be shown during the, uh, you know, if, in the blinding option. Drop rate up for Flan and Unseen Observer. So I'll re-showcase her some like that. Try her again. Uh, she's definitely strong if you're trying to cleave single target burst. Definitely opens up a lot of options. But Ran is more solid than her, right? Because he removes immunity first. So, uh, of course, drop rate up for Zahak with uh, pure white trust. Uh, so I'll be talking about him at the end of the video. Uh, I mean, really soon, right now, actually. Uh, so Sigrid with Cradle of Life. Uh, Sigrid, very good for Wyvern. Uh, you can use her in other PvE content. For PvP, you can use her for her extinction. Uh, yeah, she, she's a solid hero. Uh, she's definitely going to facilitate your life in Wyvern. Definitely makes things so much easier. Limited hero rerun. Fairy Tale Tenebria uh, with her limited artifact. Uh, she's a very cancerous hero. You put all your best speed on her with effectiveness. And you can definitely mess players up with a hero like that. But you can get out sped. Uh, fairly easily that's the thing that's something you have to keep in mind uh so yeah limited heroes are more worthy of being summoned for compared to you know an rgb hero that's not limited because you might end up getting that hero uh, later down the line judge kisei with general purgus mystic ro uh, summon rotation i mean uh, judge kisei she needs she needs a buff guys uh she got her new skin but still she needs a buff that's the thing uh, i could definitely showcase her uh again so we got last rider crowd rule of light um yeah, coin shop. Basically, not even 1% of the player base can actually access uh, these heroes. But Last Rider Crawl, very strong. Rule of Light, uh, very strong as well. Showcased all these heroes already before, guys. So you can go and check them out. So Zahak. Uh, yeah, this hero, Earth uh, Warrior. Uh, he has a lot of crit chance. So he's going to be easier to build. So that means you're going to have more stats for maybe building some bulk on him. You want to build him as a bruiser. And I think that's how I'm going to build him. Try him on a counter set. I think that is a good option because his skill one is very strong. Uh, well, I'll talk about all that in a second. The animation, pretty solid. And 
that's good that he has also hit chance on the skill number three, fifty percent hit chance. That means he actually will not miss versus fire unless they have some evasion on themselves. But he's going to be a hero to counter evasion based heroes. The damage, I don't know how good it's going to be. He's got uh, a skill too that helps the team as well. You know, dispelling two buff of himself and the teammate. Anyways, uh, the attack pretty high. Health and defense is okay. The speed is super high. One hundred nineteen, very good. Twenty seven critical hit chance. Uh, you got defense for back and front. You got attack for himself. So, yeah, really cool that he has a lot of crit chance in his kit from his skill 1, skill 3. Skill 2 is a supporting skill. So the skill number 3 attacks the enemy inflicting injuries before granting the caster invincibility. So that's really good. He's going to be able to survive better. He's got very high base speed too. Uh, hit chance and critical hit chance increase by 50% when attacking. Severity of injuries increase proportional to the damage dealt. Injury decreases maximum health up to 35%. Um, when it's used, so this has a 4 turn cooldown, 3 turn with skill ups, 30% damage increase, uh, 2 souls are granted. So injuries is good, you know, a single target injury is better than AoE because you can single out a hero and it's going to be easier to hit that, you know, 35% injury. He has defense buff, that's the thing you have to keep in mind guys, Violet. So I don't know how they built him, what kind of stats they have on him, but you don't need much critical hit chance on this hero. So this skill number two dispels two debuff uh, from an ally and himself. Uh, so that's strong. Then barrier. And he gets combat sureness 50% increase. So he's going to be cycling faster. This has a four turn cooldown with 50% barrier strength increase. The barrier is proportional to the target's max health. So something to keep in mind. Uh, that's good. If he doesn't have that much health, it's okay. Because you can still give a tick barrier to a tanky hero. Actually... The berry that he gives is not even as strong as the one he got from Fallen CC. So uh, that's something that you got to remember. And it looks to be about 20% of the target's max maximum health. So yeah, maybe not even 20%. I don't know. Skill 1. Uh, this is really cool. You got 50% crit chance here. And you got more damage if the target is buffed. Soul burn increases damage for 10 souls. So uh, with... Counter attack, you know, uh, that could be pretty strong. Counter set, uh, you know, 50% crit chance on S1. That's so much value right there. And more damage if the target is buffed. So if they have a buff, you're trying to burst them out. You know, you can just soul burn back to back. You save your souls for that. So that's really good. Uh, I'll be trying him out on high speed. I'll be trying him out on uh, counter set. And I'm sure there's going to be other viable options. I mean, you could probably have him on life still but then you're not gonna have as much speed i don't know his base speed is really high i'm gonna have to try him out so that his artifact uh, when you use a non-attack skill speed buff for two turns for himself and critical hit damage the next attack increased by up to 30 percent so uh more damage works hand in hand with his kit of having him deal a more critical hit chance very uh good uh so yeah i'll try him we'll see uh, what kind of numbers he can dish out and uh, we'll see the strength of the barrier, how uh, powerful he is with that S2 uh, utility-wise. Utility and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward for that. And uh, the counter set, I think, is going to be strong, but also the speed set. But I'll give you guys my thoughts in the showcase. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. That's it for this one. Uh, Master Nice, good luck with all your yeah, peace out for now. Without exception.